all the way down here, at the bottom of the map, the bottom of the world, and the Ash Sheep is Striker's Row. Um, I've already gone through and killed the robots because I tried doing this earlier, and then everything died. Um, there is a Scorch Beast flying around. I would kill it, but it'd be pointless because there is a Fissure Sight, which means another one would just spawn in. Uh, but as you can see, it's a location where there's all of these destroyed robots and protesting going on. Now give our jobs back, or we'll take yours. Of course, the signs are weapons. Uh, work for men, not machines. Pretty sure that's not what it should say. And then over here. I grow it. I think I did. Let's try to get it not near the site, because I don't want it to blow anything up. Hello? Are you gonna... Giving up? I just don't want it to blow up any of the stuff that's over here. At the location I'm at. But I also don't want to waste the time killing it just to cause another one to spawn in. As you can see, there's a dead It's an annoying location that they put so close to a fissure site. No? Okay. It's just more robots I killed. But, um, so they were protesting here, as you can see by this man standing here. And behind them is like a a caved in mine, which is a great place where they could obviously put a location. Because there's no lore here at Strikers Row other than environmental storytelling. But instead of changing existing locations, like they did it right up here at Crosshair, because there's a cave behind the crosshair, they put a cave there. You can do that here at Strikers Room, instead of completely wiping the story from a place. And just throw something in the cave. Perfect. Here's a dead woman. I was going to say, here's a destroyed woman. Here's a dead woman. Don't attack the area! No, he just flung stuff across that I... It's probably not super important. Come over here. Fight me over here. Oh, oh, okay, I hear that. I hear that guy. Hold on, hold on. I hear you. And for some reason, Scorch Beast ignore flamers. So. There's no. Point. Pulling out the flame. If I would have known I was going to fight a Scorch Beast, I would have. I should have known. Got an Ultra Sight. Just for another one to spawn into. Like, that's why it's, it's even more annoying. Which is why I'm also not killing these guys, because there's like a cap. It'll stop spawning them in at like six, I think. So if I don't kill them, I won't spawn more in. Man. Just more annoying. They're like the dragons of Skyrim. They're more annoying than they are. It's, it's not that they're difficult. 
as long as they are on the ground. Stuck on something. Let me just try to kill you. And then I'll worry about getting unstuck. Here we go. Oh, if you're gonna fight them, then I'll just. Oh, I could probably just leave the Scorch Beast here, distracted by the Super Mutants. And go back to Striker's Row. Because if it's still alive, then a new one won't spawn in. Genius. Perfect. Yes. Oh, the super mutants killed it. Okay, well I have a little bit of time before another one spawns in. Let's get back to what we were doing. I don't know how much it flung through the air, but we'll be okay. Hopefully. So they drove a bus up here. Uh, we've already read that one. There's a randomized recipe. We'll grab that to give to new players. There's a tent. Oh, there's multiple tents. Um, where, of course, these people were killed by the striker robots that you come up here and destroy. There's no quest or anything that brings you here. There's no really anything <laughs> up here other than two bobbleheads, two magazines, and a um, power armor. So that's why it's it's a nice location that for them to um, work, rework, that I wouldn't mind them reworking. I do like all of this striker, you know, environmental stuff. But I'd rather them, people before machines, destroy that than destroy locations like Ingram Manor. It was nice. And this is uh, another corpse in here. He's not really doing anything. Jeep. Tent. Let's go ahead and get on the bus and see what's on here. Got another skeleton. What does it say? Don't. Or block the bot. Footlocker. They brought a lot of food with them up here. I can't put that in the chair anymore. It's a tiny little uh, uh, plant thing, planter. Got some books, and of course, oh, it that's what it freaking, oh, that's so annoying. So it, it knocked the baseball glove out of, or the baseball out of the bear's head, and also there should have been a ball cap. I don't know where the ball cap went, but yes, that would be a nice little teddy bear scene with the uh, the bear ball cap on. But it's fine. It's fine log later to get it. More metal scrap here. I think that's that's cause there's cause there's nothing here. Like I don't it's not much to say. Give our jods back or we'll take yours. We already read that. There's also fifteen of those signs here, protester signs. So you can get basically every option that they have if you come here. Uh, workers United Against Automation. Here's another dead person. Here's the end of Dungeon Trunk. Nothing too special. Here's their main... Their main little trailer. And inside is the corpse of a woman. Skeleton of a woman, not a corpse. A... Terminal that is non 
the terminal, the ammo box, secondary bed, uh, and a bobblehead location. We'll leave it there. And a fusion core, which I will take, because I just used one. And there's a guy praying that he doesn't get killed. And he's scorched by it. Uh, here's another person, obviously getting out of the picker up truck when the bombs fell. There's another Mr. Gutsy. Some tipped over carts that have boxes in them. Um, here is the guy that was planning on blowing up the mine with uh, some thought I heard a pig with some dynamite. There is a uh, an American flag here. So if you are doing a challenge that says take a picture of an American flag, obviously, you know, go to Strikers Row. There is the power armor frame. I was like, why does that robot have a spine? And that's all that's there. Hold on, we go up higher. To see what we can see. So here is... I don't know if it's a water tower. I don't actually know what it is. An oil tower? An American soldier who was probably supposed to be defending it. Um, and then he was most likely killed... Is either are by the bombs or he was killed by the by the protesters. You call them protesters? Yeah. They're protesting in a way. I mean, yeah, you fight for your jobs, but they killed a lot of innocent people doing what they did. Here's the outhouse knocked over. Here is a dead man half buried with his pistol. I think that's it for Strikers Bro. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show where the other mag the magazine and the other bobblehead locations are since they did not spawn for me. There's nothing else here. From what I've seen. Yeah, good location to add stuff to instead of changing pre-existing locations. Like, you can throw something in here. There's a bunch of these also along the Savage Divide that you can open up and put stuff in. Oh, wait, what was that? Rose. So let's find the magazines and the other bobblehead. So the first one is one of these tents. Top of a radio. So on top of this radio right here is uh, bobblehead location number one, and we just saw bobblehead location number two was up inside the uh, the trailer. So magazine location number one is on the stage. near the amp and the microphone. So as you can see, it's not there. Magazine location number two is next to the cooking station. Do you see the cooking station? This is the cooking station. On a table. Does this count as a table? I guess it's a table. 
Oh, we didn't notice this guy here. This duffel bag. That's it. That is the entirety of Striker's Row. Not much. But it was honest work. There's also a truck down there. Crashed Jeep. Oh, it's not going to spawn another Scorch Beast on me. Okay, fine. If I'd have known that, I would have just killed it at the beginning and not worried about having to fight it during the video. Uh, here's a crashed dirt bike. That's it.